Hello everyone. So I just wanted to do a quick overview of the ThinkPad T480. To start off, I just want to say this computer has given us nothing but trouble. We've probably gotten about 20 or 30 of them and it's just been hell. So before I go into why that is, I'll just talk a little bit about what's new and different about this computer. So one of the biggest introductions is the quad core processor. It's not the full voltage, but the lower volt uh, i5A250U, which does make this computer a bit or quite a bit faster than the previous generations. Also, there's a little camera slot that you can open and close. It now uses a USB-C charger and has a USB-C Thunderbolt port. So unlike the T470, which still used the original charger, this has moved to the USB charger. Another change is there is no more dock. So you're supposed to use the Thunderbolt dock. So let's take a look at the ports. We have uh, two USB-C Thunderbolts and we have the Kensington lock, SD card, Ethernet, two USB, headphone, jack combo, HDMI. So outside of uh, kind of the port selection and the extra Thunderbolt port, not much has changed. Yes, the new processor is great. I think it's a little, little thinner than the T470, but every generation there's just a tiny little bit smaller. And if you're taking this apart, just like the T470, just keep in mind, there is no screw in the middle. If you look at one of my other videos, I'll link to it, but there's a screw on the corner, on each corner, but there's none in the middle. So if you take it apart improperly and you break this clip, the computer will always have a crack here in the middle. Uh, so just make sure you avoid that. These computers are easy to take apart and upgrade. So just keep in mind, don't break it. So as uh, the T470 has got kind of older, we decided to get some of these T480s and for one, basically this Thunderbolt port, essentially almost about say 75% of these computers, just the two monitors plugged into it never work. They, they work half the time. They don't work another time that you unplug it. It works. You plug it in. It doesn't work. It, it's just, it's, it's madness. Uh, I tried probably five or six different brands of cables using either port different monitors, for example, often uh, unplugging and plugging back in will do nothing, but unplugging it from the monitor end and plugging it back in will work. There's just there's just no consistency of any kind. And like I said, we probably have about 20 or 30 of these and it's just, they, they pretty much all been decommissioned or they have motherboard failures or they have some sort of, they essentially have an issue because the user can't have two screens because they just, they never ever work. Um, I've not tried the Thunderbolt dock but I kind of wish I had this standard dock where you can plop the computer down and it fits snugly. Uh, another thing is the audio, the, both the speakers and the microphone are just horrendous. Um, no one can hear anyone on a video chat. It's, it's basically completely useless. And these are two pretty important things. If I have a computer that can connect two monitors, it has to work every time or 98% of the time. If it doesn't work, 75% of the time. This is just insane. And, and we've gone through different updates, Windows updates, BIOS updates. Sometimes it works a little better. Sometimes it works worse. It's, it's just, it's literally just like straight up junk. Like you can't depend on this computer for anything. Um, multiple of these USB-C or Thunderbolt ports have failed completely. You can't do anything to them whatsoever. You can't read any type of connection with it. Um, also, obviously, because the USB-C is the new standard, I mean, there's really no getting away from it, but it does make this connector very easy to break. So now, anyone who's using this computer can just in seconds pretty much ruin it, because if you just bend this, it's done. You plug in the monitor, you bend it, that port is ruined. But this isn't really necessarily a con, this is just kind of a part of the future. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that, but basically, we've had a whole bunch of motherboard failures on these computers, they never work with monitors. The audio is just half the time doesn't work. And if you Google it, you will find other people complaining about all these things. And um, we basically went back to the T470s because these things were just straight up hell. Like, I understand how a computer, the second screen can just not work half the time. For example, you'll plug in the screen here. This display will show. You plug in another display in the HDMI. The HDMI will now show, but this one won't show. You unplug the HDMI and plug it back in, both screens show. You unplug it again, only the HDMI shows. You unplug this and plug it in, it still doesn't show. It, it, it's like it's like playing Russian roulette with trying to get your monitor working. Literally, it's 
it's it's just crazy so outside of the quad core processor which is a very nice advantage i would just either get a t470 or maybe the t490 but i literally don't know what happened here i've been using computers for 25 or 30 years and i've never seen a computer that just something works 75 percent of the time it's crazy so if you just look at it spec wise it's just a i guess the processor is really the main improvement but at this point, I mean, Lenovo has been making these computers for a long time. The, the series, it's gotten thinner, it's gotten a little better, and the speakers and audio quality are one thing actually may not seem that important, but how many iterations is it going to take to just have the most basic audio and microphone? And like the, the speakers on these computers are they're just beyond bad. They're, it, it's, you can't even explain how bad it is. I feel like it's, it's like a 1995 laptop bad, where you have one little speaker in the corner that's supposed to make a beep. That's, that's literally how bad it is. And, and same with the microphone. Like, this is supposed to be a business laptop. Audio, video conferencing matter. Being able to plug in monitors or presentations matter. You, you can't send this computer to anyone to plug in anything to reliably do anything. It's, it's just, uh, yeah, I've literally never been more disappointed by a product that was purchased in, in somewhat bulk. Obviously, if this is just a one-time buy, uh, I, you know, it's probably just a defect, but this is just, like I said, we probably we got 230 of these. So those are my two cents. This is what happened. We're no longer getting them. Once the T490s get cheaper, we'll probably go for those and check them out. But this was just a complete disaster.